Hello everyone! In this video I show you how to assemble the lens unit of the Canon PowerShot G7X camera. Recently I had this camera which had problems with the lens. So I had to disassemble the camera, remove the lens unit, disassemble the lens unit, repair the lens and then assemble the lens unit and the camera. In this video I show you how to assemble the lens unit. If you are interested in disassembly or assembly of the camera or disassembly of the lens unit, then the links are in the description below. Before I will start, let me talk about the tools that I use to assemble the lens unit. I will use a PH30 screwdriver and a metal tweezers. If you are interested in buying them, then the links are in the description below. I hope this video will be useful, helpful, informative and adds value to you. If that's the case, please like this video, subscribe to my channel or send me a donation. The links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. Also, there's an update section in the description. If I have anything to add to this video after it has been posted, then I add it there. So I would highly recommend to check it. So, let's get started. Let's start the assembly with the two lens tubes. The three pins of the inner lens tube should slide in the highlighted cutout of the outer lens tube. So, push in the inner lens tube, turn it clockwise, then push it in again completely. Rotate the inner lens tube until the cutout on its wall is at the cutout of the outer lens tube, as you can see it on the photo. The next step is to put back the aperture unit. The circled parts of the aperture unit should be where the cutouts of the inner lens tubes are. Rotate the inner lens tube until you can see that groove. Notice that there are two cutouts next to each other on the inner lens tube and the groove should be at the longer one. This is the way the tongs of the aperture unit should go in the grooves. So slide in the aperture unit and turn the inner lens tube counterclockwise. Again, check if the two cutouts are next to each other. If not, then the lens can be assembled completely. The next step is to put back the ND unit. First, turn the inner lens tube clockwise until the end. Then start to turn it in the other direction. After a few millimeters you will see two grooves. Those are not the ones we have to use, but keep turning until you see the next two grooves. You can see two grooves close to each other and we have to slide the tongue of the ND unit in the groove which is on the left. So this is a closer look where the tongue of the ND unit should go into. When you put back the ND unit, the flex cables should be next to each other. Slide the ND unit in and then turn the inner lens element as you can see it in the video. The next step is to put back the front lens element. This part of the inside of the lens should be at this part of the front of the lens unit. Rotate the inner lens tube until you can see that groove. 
This is the path where the atom of the front lens unit should slide. Again, those two parts should match. Slide the front lens in and then turn the inner lens barrel clockwise. This is how the lens unit should look like so far. If you zoom in and out, this is how the lens elements are moving. The next step is to put back the front of the lens. First, turn the outer lens tube clockwise to the end, then start to turn it in the other direction. Notice that there is a small groove on the inner lens tube and a longer groove on the outer lens tube. When the two match the second time, that is the position where the lens should be. The tongs of the front lens unit should slide into those grooves. There is a lever on the front lens which should go into the hole in the front of the lens unit. If the front lens is at the right place, the cover of the front lens should close as the front lens slides completely back to the lens unit. This is how the lens looks like so far. The next step is to put back the outward lens tube. Notice that there is a small cutout on the side of the lens tube and this cutout should be next to the flat cables. The tongue of the lens unit should slide in that cutout of the outer lens tube. Put back the lens unit. The next step is to put back the lens cover sleeve. There are three tongues on the inner lens element where the lens cover sleeve goes on. Also, the lens cover sleeve has three pins which goes into the inner side of the outer lens tube. In order to successfully put back the lens cover tube, move the inner lens element to the position you see on this photo. Notice that the teeth of the inner lens tube is in line with the groove on the outer lens tube. The pin of the lens tube should go into the groove inside of the outer lens tube. Slide on the lens cover tube.
The front of the lens cover tube should be in line with the front of the lens. The next step is to put back the zooming ring. Notice that there are two pins on the side of the lens and there are two grooves on the inner side of the lens tube. Those pins should go into that groove. And that pin should go into that groove. The lens should be zoomed back and the pin should be at the position where you can see it now. The round cutout on the side of the lens should be at this end of the teeth of the gear. So again, the cutout and the end of the gear should match. Slide on the zooming lens tube, then try if you can zoom by rotating it. The next step is to put back the rear plastic ring. There is a tooth on the ring which should go to that place in the lens. So those two parts should match. Also the three tongs on the side of the ring should go into that groove on the inner wall of the lens. You have to zoom a little bit out, that is how the tongs and the grooves are matching. Put back the ring. There are three pins which are holding the ring in its place. The next step is to put back the outer lens ring. There is a small cutout on the outer lens ring and that should be at the flex cables. Zoom out the lens unit, that way you have access to the hole where the flat cables should go through. Push the flat cables out through the hole.
Let's continue with putting back the focusing lens unit. There are three pins on the side, two of them are rigid and one of them is pushed out by a spring. First, push back down the two rigid ones, then put back the remaining one. After the focusing lens unit has been installed, zoom back the lens. So this is how the lens looks like so far. Put back the plastic cover of the rear lens element. The next step is to put back the sensor. Use an air blower to clean the sensor if it is necessary. Those two parts should match. Put back the sensor and the pins which are holding in its place. Put back the two screws. Put back the flex cables to their place and then reconnect the cables. Clean the connectors if it is necessary. We are done with assembling the lens unit. Join me in the next video where I show you how to assemble the camera. The link is in the description below. I hope this video was useful, helpful, informative and added value to you. If that's the case, please like this video, subscribe to my channel or send me a donation. The links are in the description below. 
If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. So, thank you very much for watching my video and see you next time in my other videos.